Hey guys, so here I am a week later after I filmed this video and I didn't film an intro. So I'm just here to give this a little bit of an intro and I'm gonna be wearing this in my next video. I'm literally about to film it, that's why there's stuff around me because I'm about to film a dorm haul, but that's not what this video is. So subscribe if you wanna see that. Today is going to be just a random mix of food things. So I started out doing like a what I eat in a day, but I also did kind of like a cook with me. I talked a lot while I was preparing my lunch because I filmed what I had for breakfast on my phone because I realized I didn't have my camera at the house I was house sitting at. I'll just insert that right after I'm done doing this intro. And then I got into like making lunch and then I did a public taste test so I just tried a bunch of healthy-ish snacks so yeah um and then I showed you my dinner and then I kind of just cut off after that so I'm probably also gonna film an outro right now too that's what we're gonna be doing today if you want to see all the food goodness then just keep watching and let's get into the breakfast here's my breakfast I kind of started eating it before I realized I wanted to film this but it's just peaches, oats, chia seeds, honey, and cinnamon. But I accidentally dumped like half of the container of chia seeds in it. So it's like basically chia seeds. And of course, I'm having a matcha as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. My mom got introduced these and then she introduced these to me. I really want to try like every flavor because these are so good. They're good thin. And these ones are jalapeno and lime. They basically remind me of like a healthy Dorito. Sorry if that's gonna distract you. I'm sorry, but he's literally gonna be like that the entire video. Maybe I should shut these, even though it is providing good lighting, it's also washing me out, I feel like. It's making the lighting really bad in the background. And I didn't bring my ring light because that's just way too much work. Okay, I feel like this looks a smidgy, a smidgy better. Okay, after filming for three minutes doing nothing, mm -hmm. because I don't know what to do, I'm going to start, I guess. We got the pan. We got the silicone mat. And I also didn't bring my avocado oil, so I'm gonna have to use whatever oil they have. Oh, it says extra light taste, which I hate olive oil, so that's good. So first I need to wash these things. Oh, oh, booty. Hopefully potatoes don't bruise, because it just like full on went across the room. <laughs> And I also have two avocados that are pretty much, like this one's pretty much ripe. This one has like a day to go. They could both go well, a day, but me, I might use them today. Honestly, I think I'm gonna not, nah, I'm gonna wash. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna wash these off because they're from the farmer's market. That means they're organic, right? I just started listening to Kane and they are so good. Like I just discovered them and they don't have very many songs and I wish they did because I would listen to them all day. I heard I, okay. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> hee hee. I'm kind of already getting hungry, so that's unfortunate. When I house it, I normally struggle with doing my compost stuff because they obviously don't compost and I'm not gonna throw it in their yard. I ate some strawberries, so I just kept like the little. I think I'm gonna do this like, what the heck? Is this not? I'm gonna do it like this so it's not super skinny. Skinny as in it has skin, not like skinny as in, you know. Oh. Zucchinis are very slippery. I feel like I'm gonna chop my hand off because this is like pretty dull, I think. Literally, I've never had this much difficulty in my life peeling stuff. But as I was saying, they had like five strawberries left and obviously they would have been bad by the time they got back. I've been using the strawberry container for my compost and keeping it in the freezer. Cause I do have like my silicone bags, but um, those get full real fast because they don't really morph into a different shape because I got the cheap ones, which I will never do again, obviously. I'm gonna just stash a bag next time I need them. I've obviously recently learned about like Amazon just like drop shipping stuff. They're all made at the same factory and then they just get different names printed on them because the brands just wanna make money. And they were just copying stash of bags and making it a cheaper version and quality and in price. So yeah, I will never purchase from them again, but I do still use ones I have, obviously. I just won't support them. I guess I can talk to y'all, like, give you an update on my life, like, what I've been doing, why I haven't been uploading. The answer is basically because I just haven't been motivated. I mean, it's not even that I haven't been, I just haven't had anything to do. Like, I haven't had ideas. I don't have people telling me what they want to see. And when I don't have that and I don't have ideas, then I can't really do videos because I don't know what y'all want to see. That's really the only reason. I've also just been very busy. I do work a lot. I mean, that's pretty much it. 
when I'm not working, I'm doing something, whether it's productive or not. <laughs> so that was good to film that video with Sarah. But like I did say, I did film like a prom video. I think I even filmed a little bit in my car before Sarah came over and did my hair while I was going to Duncan. If y'all want me to upload that, I know someone made a comment and said they wanted me to still upload it. And I do appreciate like the comments on that video because they're super sweet. I just have to bring myself to edit it and like I said, it was like pretty sucky. So yeah, but I got to graduate, so that was good. It was just a very good ceremony. I love going to the farmer's market because I knew I was supporting local people. It was just so fun. The only thing was they didn't really have any fruit or anything. I just saw one person with blueberries. I wanted to find some like fresh, like local strawberries, but I didn't. So that was kind of a bummer, but it's fine. It was my first farmer's market. So now I'm gonna toss this in some look how cute their salt and pepper shakers are they little mason jars even though i know that it's not the cuteness that matters in reality they could fill those up at like a bulk thing which i would do if i had cute jars like that i'm not like judging anyone i'm trying to make it clear that i'm not judging people you can definitely come off that way the other day at work we have these sample cups at work that if there's like extra of a smoothie. You can just like pour some for yourself. Try a bunch of smoothies so that you know what to recommend, which is a good thing. But what a lot of people do at work is they get one sample cup for one smoothie and then throw it away and they get another one and then throw it away. And those are plastic. So I just said, oh my goodness, you use that for five seconds and it's going to be like on this planet forever. But people just don't think about it. If you're not educated about it, then you're not going to know about it. So... He was like, oh man, I'm sorry, I just didn't know, but now I know. That's just like what you have to do. Just like educate people. And I told him, I said, I'm not judging you. I'm just like trying to like let you know. It's obviously his life. He didn't have to. He could throw away as many as he wanted. But he didn't. He kept his name on it like I do. My last cup I've kept like up for two weeks. It's kind of intense, but uh. Let's see. Time up for. Let's do 15 minutes at first. So those are in the potatoes. I'm still sitting here because. There's another pan and there's a second rack, but it's kind of high up and meh, I don't like it. We're just gonna do those first and then put these on there too. Let's uh, get a snacky snack. Mm. And I am someone who can't eat spicy things. Oh no, I have a opinion on mine. If I like the fifth or sixth one that you eat, it has a little kick to it. They have a few different flavors. So. I don't want to try them. Maybe I'll get them when I'm trying to find some organic bean sugar. There they are. Oh, did I really put these up? Yeah, right. I don't remember putting those up. Also, what I've never noticed before is like, now that I am trying to be more sustainable, I just like notice unsustainable things so much. All these like TikTok trends of like trying out TikTok gadgets, basically something that you buy so many things of and then you end up using them once for that video. Maybe you use like one or a few of them long term, but most of the time they're all gadgets and you've wasted that money, those materials, you supported an unsustainable business. It's basically the fast fashion of like gadgets and stuff. Like I said, I kind of want to do like a whole video on this just because like I'm trying to be the most sustainable as I can, but also I'm just going to be as sustainable as I can. Like I'm going to try my hardest, but like an example, I just got like my towels from Target and I know Target isn't the most sustainable brand or maybe it's like completely un unsustainable, but to me, I'm gonna use those towels for a very, very long time. So to me, it's worth it. I didn't even look up sustainable towels cause I know they're gonna be expensive, but the towels that we've had in our house, I'm pretty sure, or at least the ones I use are from Target. And I've had them for like forever. Also like moving into a dorm, a lot of people buy all new stuff. They're like, oh, I need a new pillow. I need a new this, I need a new that, I need a bit. But I'm literally gonna be bringing most of my stuff from home. I do need to get new sheets just because I don't have any twin sheets. Let's just get up close and personal. I really don't wanna get a duvet or like a comforter or anything like that because I'm not someone who uses it. I know a lot of people do use their comforter and like they wrap up in it like it's warm or whatever. I don't do that. I literally, that's just literally a decorative piece to me because I'd much rather be in a blanket. So I'm gonna try and find like a cute blanket to put on top so that I just have a sheet and a blanket. It's like decorative and I actually use it. But I'm kind of struggling because I feel like I either want it to be white or pink. I've tried to look at like Made Trade, which is like basically a, a more ethical online shop. Some of their stuff isn't too bad, but like now that I am educated about this, I'm not looking to get like the cheapest I can get, but 
like one of the cheaper ones were like $56 or something like that. Used to, I would see that and be like, what? $50 for a blanket? I would never like, you know, as you learn about these working conditions and these like, I don't know. I was also watching, I used to watch a lot of these in like last November, December, whenever I was first starting thinking about a dorm. I literally watched so many like dorm shop with me videos. 90% of them, they end up going to Ikea. So I was watching one yesterday and literally every two seconds, she's like, this is so cheap, this is so cheap, this is so cheap. Something was like 20 or $30 and she's like, oh, it's kind of expensive. But for what it is, like, I don't know, it's like, and I was trying to look into like Ikea sustainability. I don't know, I didn't do much research because I really didn't wanna. I feel like Ikea tries to like seem a little bit more sustainable, but when I look at like sustainable bloggers, they definitely don't ever mention Ikea. I really need to charge this battery because it's blinking, so we love that. This is pretty much looking like it's just gonna be a food vlog. So I finished making that stuff. I normally don't use like those wipes that are single use slash bad for you, but they have some and I don't wanna be getting thrown all over their stuff at least. So, wow, oh, these smell really good. They don't smell like regular wax wipes. These are Lysol wipes, but still, I thought they were like the same thing. Wow, what the heck? That Lysol wipe smells good. Definitely made a few impulse purchases. First, what I actually meant to get was the sugar. So it's just organic cane sugar. I thought that'd be the best cane sugar you could get. I mean, it's not good for you, but whatever. And then this was impulse. It's this Hum Mango Passion Fruit Kombucha. I've only tried one kombucha and I didn't like it. I think it was Pink Lady Apple from Healthade. One of my friends likes the hum ones and I saw the mango passion fruit and I was like, oh, like the Starbucks drink. But then when I got home, I realized that's mango dragon fruit. Oh, I'm gonna shake it even though obviously it's carbonated, so it's probably not good. I just feel like there's stuff at the bottom and I don't like that. Oh my goodness, that smells promising. Can I drink it out of a wine glass? I'm going to. I don't like, oh shoot, because I shook it. I'm such a dingus. What the heck? That literally smells like the Starbucks drink. I just did that, like, obviously. I just shook it and I literally just said that it's fizzy. Chihuahua, I'm just a mess. I mean, I should do, like, the hole in them, the taste test of everything after, but whatever. That's definitely better than the pink lady. Like, it smells super good and then it's just, like, plain. You know, obviously drink that one. I didn't drink that pink lady apple one because it was just disgusting. So there's that. And then I also got the Good Thins and the barbecue flavor. The other one is made with corn. This one's made with sweet potatoes. Ooh. Mm. Oh my. This literally just tastes like barbecue fruit. These ones I have to like stop after like a 20 of them. <laughs> Those I could literally eat a little bag. Then I got two red delicious apples because they're the cheapest, but that are still very good. I got an avocado. I already have two, but this was only a dollar. Normally avocados are like 250. So I was like, mm, duh. And then this was definitely another, I'm telling you, these were all impulse purchases besides the good things and the sugar. Publix has their own non-dairy frozen dessert. This is big. Normally you can only get like a little pint of non-dairy ice cream, but that's a quart. Okay. I know it's kind of weird. I was going to say it tastes like the ice cream part of Rocky Road, but that would just be chocolate ice cream. But I feel like Rocky Road chocolate ice cream is different than regular chocolate ice cream. Anyone else agree? This feels like I'm eating super real ice cream. If I don't stop eating right now, I will literally need half of that. That is so good. I know they had a strawberry one and then a peanut butter chocolate and then this one only had one left. That's why. I keep saying I'm going to stop, but I keep eating my yes, these are so good. If you're trying to get away from barbecue potato chips, here's what my uh, stuff ended up looking like. I have the potatoes over here in the, in the, I was gonna say veggies, but they're all veggies. Squash and zucchini, there we go. This would taste so much better if I had quinoa on it, but they don't got no veggie bouillon. What's another way y'all make your quinoa because I need another way, because I literally just always use veggie bouillon, which if it's not broken, don't fix it, but I could probably do it with tamari. Cause that's what I was gonna do last time, but then I ended up accidentally putting bouillon paste within. I didn't want to do both, so maybe I could just do that. Should I put the tamari in with the water so that yeah, so that it gets soaked up? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
which are my own question. I have this organic tamari, okay? I'm just gonna put mm, probably about like two teaspoons. I literally just eyeball it through. I'm not actually measuring it, so it's working. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now I'm going to research. Should this be in the refrigerator? I've had this out for a while. It literally says refrigerate after opening. Hmm, interesting. That definitely means I should put it in the refrigerator like right this second, but I feel like if I've survived this long enough, I think that I don't have to right now and then I'll do it when I get home so that that's not another thing to put in my cooler. Okay, now let us research. <laughs> I love that. Let's do this. You can only see a very bit of my face. Like, I feel like such a researcher. Plus, I could like walk out the house without having to blur anything because I don't know how to do that. What was I like, look up? <laughs> oh, the syrup recipe. In a medium saucepan, stir together water and sugar and peaches. Bring mixture to a boil, then reduce heat and let mixture simmer until sugar is completely dissolved. Remove from heat, cover, and let steep for 25 minutes. Strain peaches from the syrup mixture left cool completely before using. Store in the refrigerator, mix it into iced tea and cocktails for sweet peach hammering. Yes, this will be good for tea, but I had an idea to do peach matcha. Peach matcha, girl. If this works, I will be so happy. Maybe this should be like a separate video, me making the syrup, because then I could be like making peach matcha. It doesn't work. Lindsay Ray did like strawberry syrup, which I would have done if I found strawberries at the farmer's market. Let's look up peach matcha and see if it's a thing or if I'm just completely off my rocker. Peach matcha David's tea, okay. They probably got all that fake crap in it because I sing and ordered peach tea from David's tea and it literally tastes like the butthole because it tastes like fake it's awful. I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna use this bowl because it's literally the cutest. Like, look how cute these bowls are. I'm gonna well, put some in my bed and then put some in my potato. But I've not eaten good food in a solid day or two. So I definitely need all these veggies. I feel like quinoa has protein in it, actually. Does it? I feel like it does. And then I'm just gonna do a little more tamari on the top. A little drizzle, drizzle. Okay, that might have been a little much, but I was really just going for the aesthetic shot. Now it's time to mix this up and make it look disgusting. Now I'm gonna eat this, maybe watch some Netflix or something because I need a break, girl. I'm gonna go on for a while, girl, okay? All right, so I'm starting to get hungry for some dinner, so I'm gonna make some avocado toast. Whenever I make my avocado toast, I do not use like a bowl and a fork and a knife like i literally do everything just in the avocado and on the toast whenever i see people make avocado toast and they use a spoon to scoop out the avocado to put in the bowl to mash with a fork to put on their bread like i'm just like girl why are you doing so many dishes I just use 100% whole wheat bread but basically i just do the least amount of work for the best avocado toast and the least dishes and then we're gonna pour some tomatoes on sal y pimienta i don't even know how much i just put on because it's so dark in here wow look at that you can actually see it there is your masterpiece so good so good so yeah there was my what i eat in a day slash food taste test slash cook with me whatever you want to call it i hope y'all enjoyed this video i'm sorry i haven't been uploading i just as the reasons i explained in that video but i have a feeling that there's gonna be a few more videos coming your way because i'm about to film two of them today so i'm gonna film this video that i am sitting around and then i'm gonna edit the one that i filmed while house sitting so i'm gonna jump back to like house sitting after i film this dorm haul because i didn't want to do like food video food video haul video haul video so i'm gonna do food haul food haul so it's gonna look like i went back to house sitting it's really just an older video so that's what's coming for you so just stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see what i'm talking about so yeah i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me <laughs> thank you so much for watching bye Oh, that was weird.